hello guys welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions week five at we at week five already I can't quite believe it how quick the season's coming and going but anyway a lot of predictions to talk about maybe a few bits to talk about in the previous week but anyway let's get straight down to this so guys you know what to do give us a big crack on like you enjoy it subscribe for more thanks for watching and let's go so the first game is Newcastle versus Leeds United. I might mispronounce that uh, slightly. Sorry if I have. Um, but anyway, Newcastle playing Leeds at St James's Park could be an interesting game. Friday night as well. So you know, we'll. I'm guessing Leeds will take a few fans up. Uh, take a, you know, maybe. I'd, I don't know, a few fans up there, um, or a few thousand. But playing Newcastle at St James's Park, this is an interesting one. Um, I'm going to go for a draw, I think. And I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolves versus Brentford. Wolves versus Brentford. Now, I know Brentford lost. Uh, the previous week with I think it's about 19th minute goal by Brighton um, and I'm very you know how happy I am over that um, you know I've seen the goal and it's a great goal by Trossard Wolverhampton they're struggling this season they really are I didn't think they'll struggle as badly as what they have been I know you know I think they got three points if i memory is correct if i'm wrong then i do apologize but you know i'm trying to guess and you know where i'm coming from it's going to be a real interesting game um walls versus brentford now brentford are strong as well you know i ain't gonna underestimate brentford on, uh, under any circumstances whatsoever molyneux it's a tough place to go i'm gonna go for another draw and I'm going to go for a one-on scoreline for that one the only reason I've gone for a draw with that one is because Brentford have got to go this morning you the fixtures the other way around which will be at some point in the season it could be a Brentford win but I am going to go for the draw for that one my next one is Burnley versus Arsenal Arsenal pick up their first win in the Premier League last week against Norwich only by a goal to nil though and that to me, now no disrespect to Norwich whatsoever. Arsenal should really be, you know, beating them quite comfortably. Um, but, you know, as you guys know, I apply to all your comments or how many comments I can. And Arsenal was the one I took, you know, a bit of stick for. But fair enough. Um, but yeah, Arsenal do pick up their first win uh, against Norwich. Going up against a really difficult Burnley side this weekend. Now Burnley, I think, have only got a point this season as it stands. This game could be really interesting. Do I... So I'm in two minds to call this from. I'm going to go for an Arsenal win, just about. And I'm going to go for a very hard, very difficult... 2-1 Arsenal win. My next one is Liverpool versus Crystal Palace. Now Liverpool did beat AC Milan 3-2 in the Champions League. Uh, as I'm recording this, it's going to be yesterday. Um, if you're not watching this, you know, that's being uploaded, then it'll be on Wednesday. Liverpool, I think they won their last league game as well. Crystal Palace, I can't quite remember who they played or how they got on. But does it really change my mind on the result at Anfield? Probably not. So I'm going to go for Liverpool. Seems to be getting back into our old ways. I'm going to go for a comfortable 3-0 win for that one. My next one is Manchester City versus Southampton. Manchester City, can't quite remember... How they got on in the last game. I can't remember um, how I got. I think they drew in the Champions League. Uh, 
as I said, I can't quite remember, but anyway, does it really change my mind on the prediction of this game? No, it don't, not really. I'm gonna go for a comfortable, and let's not forget a struggling Southampton as well. I know they do this most of the time at the start of the season, but I always do manage to survive. But going off against the Manchester City side, as I said, it don't really change my mind on the result I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for a comfortable 4 0 Manchester City win. Sorry, Southampton fans. My next one, now this is going to be an interesting game Norwich versus Watford. Watford. Actually, let's start with Norwich. Norwich has still yet to get any points on the board in the Premier League. The only team still in the Premier League not to have no points on the board. It's going to be a really interesting game, uh, as I've just said. Watford, on the other hand, Watford won my dark horses a few years ago. I don't think they're quite up to that standard of being my dark horses again. Not yet, anyway. But Norwich still without any points. What for the guy want to go in there and get in the three points? N Sorry, Norwich fans. I don't want to be you know disrespectful to you, but Norwich is one of these teams, a bit like Arsenal at the minute, where everyone can go to go to these places and think they can get three points. So I'm going to go for a Watford win, and I'm going to go for a two-one Watford win. My next one is Aston Villa versus Everton. Now, Everton did win their previous fixture against Burnley, I just remembered. But Everton did go one, one goal down in that. So, with Everton going one goal down in that game, and then coming back 3-1 by cracking towns that goal, you know, I did watch that game, and fair play for Everton for coming back into that. Going up against a struggling Villa side, I still think Villa are really struggling without the likes of Jack Greenish being in that squad. So I'm going to go for an Everton win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Everton win. My next one is Brighton and Albion versus Leicester. Now, as I've already said, Brighton did beat Brentford in the previous weekend. But... Going up against Leicester, different cattle fish who did lose. I can't remember who Leicester lost to. Did they lose or was it a draw? Put it down in the comments below. But it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these sides. Brighton are currently in the top five, I think it is. Top five, top six. Great place for Brighton fans. Great place for Brighton overall. As I said, going up against a bit of different cattle fish. I'm going to go for a Leicester draw. Uh, well, a draw, Brighton draw, uh, Brighton Leicester, don't really matter which way I tell it. I'm going to go for a one all score line for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Manchester United. Now, Manchester United did lose to Young Boys in the Champions League uh, by a last minute, you know, uh, goal. Uh, you know, with the lights of. You know, lights of losing to young boys, they go want to get back to winning ways this weekend. Going at the London Stadium though against West Ham and uh can I really see anything there? I reckon May Night will struggle but I do reckon May Night might just walk away with a win. And I'm gonna go for a two one scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is Spurs versus Chelsea. Spurs against Chelsea. This is going to be an interesting game over, you know, what can happen. But Chelsea do look like a different kettle of fish over the, you know, over this season so far. It's going to be a really interesting game. Um, whether, you know, Spurs can pull something out of the hat. I don't think it will quite happen. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. But anyway, guys, before I end this video, I want Harvey Elliott to get well very soon. 
But anyway, guys, so I'm going to bring this video to an end now. I just want to wish my, you know, best wishes to Harvey Elliott, who did pick up an injury during the last week's uh, game at Leeds United. But anyway, guys, as I said, I'm going to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.